He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Woo! 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 I'm here for the day. You hear me? That's why I came transparent. Because it is in my spirit that most of you viewing these videos may not seem to have the slightest clue as to why is he coming against Christianity and the name of Jesus Christ so aggressively? <sighs> well, beloved, I would that you understand because we've made life all about getting Getting, 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 getting. I gotta get money. I gotta get a house. I gotta get a car. I gotta get married. I gotta get a career. I gotta get, 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 get. But with all of that getting, get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, Get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek. See if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. People that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and so. Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. But the wise shall understand. And with all thy getting, get understanding. And with all of thy getting, get understanding. Listen. According to the scriptures, there is something about understanding. There is something that we supposed to be understanding that we just don't understand. The Bible says that he looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if they understand. What is it that we supposed to be understanding that there is a lack of understanding of. What is it? In all of that getting, get understanding. Get understanding. And the thing about whatever it is, it's really gonna be highlighted in the last days because the Bible says that the wicked is going to continue to do wickedly and not understand, but the wise will understand. What on earth is it that he is trying to get us to understand that we just clearly don't understand? Listen, I've been trying to tell y'all what it is through these videos 
from the Bible because he sends his word to deliver us from the thing that can destroy us for the lack of knowledge and understanding of. Listen, now I know I have people who want to dispute and debate what I'm saying, but to me, you fall in either one of four categories. Category number one, you've never read the Bible at all. So, what are you talking about? Um, category number two, you've never read the Bible for yourself. Instead, um, you are being taught through some man, some pastor, or some preacher who's interpreting and translating the Bible for you. So therefore, your knowledge is secondhand. Your faith stands in the words of man. So to you, what are you talking about? Um, category number three are those of you who may have read the Bible for yourself, but you don't even understand that the Bible is not a novel. You don't know how to read the Bible. You understand? You don't, you don't know. No, you don't understand. How to read the Bible. You don't understand that it is a divinely inspired book. Which means that every point, every jot, every title, every period bears some significance. The Bible says that he has hidden the truth in the word from the wise and has revealed it to the babes. The babes... And the wise both read the same book, but the one gets it, the other doesn't. So again, category number three, you don't know how to read the Bible. You don't understand the code. <laughs> so to you, what are you talking about? And then category number four. Category number four is you've read the Bible for yourself. You know how to read the Bible. You see the wondrous things, the living word behind the written. You can appreciate the life that's in the word, that's in the letter of the word. You see it. But for you, the Bible says, you are willingly ignorant because you want to debate me, but it's clearly better for a man not to know the way. Let me say it again. It is better for a man not to know, not to see, and know the way than to know it and still subscribe to another way, Christianity. What are you talking about? For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge, knowledge of the truth, escape the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the truth, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of right, to have known the way of righteousness, than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again.
and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Listen, to all of you disputers and you debaters, your talking points is vomit. It is the regurgitation of data that you've heard or may have read from some man who heard and or read from some man who heard and or read from some man. The Bible says that you teach doctrines of men and how that your traditions makes void the powers of most high. So miss me with that. Get understanding and to show you how powerful the truth of the word is that he sent to deliver you from the destructions that you don't even have a knowledge or understanding of. I'm going to take the next five minutes with truth to shatter your whole theology. Now, if you are a Bible-believing individual, which means you believe that the Bible is the inspired word, of the Most High, then again, you have to understand that everything in that book is significant. It is not written just for it to be there. That word is coded. That word is inspired. David says, teach me wondrous things out of thy law. The Bible says that from the word that was written in the beginning, he's able to reveal the end. That word has the capacity to delineate realities that are relevant and applicable to the times that we live in today, 2021, even though it was written thousands of years ago. If you understand and you believe the Bible has that ability, watch this. You know why I come for Christianity and the name of Jesus? Because the Bible teaches me that the devil has always since the beginning, been trying to establish a name for the rebellion. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, 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 lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Bible says that the people of that rebellious movement said, go to, let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered. Understand the principle. The name that the devil was trying to establish was a name that would identify the people to that rebellious System. Follow me. To those of you who want to dispute and debate and say, oh, the name is not important. Again, you are willingly ignorant. Because if you are a Bible believer, how can you say that the name is not important when all throughout the Bible, He's saying, my name, bless my name, call upon my name. But moreover, and more succinctly, if the name isn't important, then why would it be written into the text that the Most High 
specifically took interest in names. He changed Abraham names to Abraham. He changed Sarai's name to Sarah. He changed Jacob's name to Israel. And so forth and so on. You know the stories if you read. Why is that interposed into the text? Why did he take such interest in the name and what their names was? Simple. Because if you define each of those names, contained in the name is the nature, is the purpose, is the destiny. Abraham, Abraham, it's a contrast. Abraham is father of many nations, which represented who he was in the earth. The same with Sarai, the same for Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. Israel means prince, prince of the most high. He's a king of kings. Israel is his prince. So if names aren't important, again, why did he take such special interest in giving names? Even Mary was instructed to name the baby a specific name because whatever that name meant, it defined his purpose in the earth. Jesus only means savior. Yeshua means his salvation. You follow me? But watch this. So not only does the most high take interest in giving names, but if you really read your Bible, people don't read. The devil takes the same amount of interest in changing names. Think about it. When the three Hebrew boys were taken into Babylonian captivity, what was the first thing that Nebuchadnezzar did? Now among these were of the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names. Whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names. For he gave prince of the eunuchs gave names. For he gave unto Daniel the name of Belteshazzar, and to Hananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Azariah of Abednego. He changed their names. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego wasn't their given name. They were Babylonian names that had been given to them to identify them with that Babylonian system. The Most High gives name, Satan changes the name. What am I saying wrong? Listen, the Most High gave a name. Paul said he heard from heaven in the Hebrew tongue a Hebrew name, the name Yeshua. Man, the translators who are under the heavens, by the way, decided that they were going to give a name. the name Jesus, which is Greek. Ain't that like the devil? <laughs> the Most High gives a name. The devil changes the name. The thing is this. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. 
Prove your own selves. You better make sure that you got the right name and that you are not in alignment with or subscribe to a name that was changed and given among men to identify with the rebellious system, with the perverted way that contradicts the way of truth. What is his name? And oh, one other important point about the Tower of the Babel. He declares the end from the beginning. If you go back to that story, the Bible says that they left off to build that city. Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city, and they left off to build the city, and they left off to build the city. They left off to build that city, and they stopped building. When you get to the book of Revelations, what doeth the scripture saith about the city? And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. O Babylon, the great, come out of her, my people. Revelations 13. And the mark is the name of the beast. What they left off to build in Genesis, in the beginning, come the end of the book, they completed it. And the mark was a name. The mark was a name. What is his name? Or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the name of the beast, the mark or the name of the beast, or the name of the beast, mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. This is that wisdom and the understanding that you must have in order to know and to understand what the mark what the spiritual mark of the beast, what it really is. What is his name? 